This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just going to get settled in. Time to move on, get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously style in Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really, I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk.
so I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent -a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs, and something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Pass off! What the hell was that? I don't know what the fuck that was. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear! Got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. 
I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge, along with everything else. It was time to choose, a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. boss lady, only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. It might have been stupidity, drunkenness, or maybe both, but before I knew it I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Rodrigo. I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where you got him? Enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head start. Looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Ah. the wall to the left of the gate. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. 
another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Continua dando multas. Não ponha o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos! Chama uma ambulância! Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. So I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Mm. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm! Spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Faba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. Hey, 
Here we are! Saúde! <laughs> <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. <laughs> fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed, and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People, fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, my oh, nigga, how are you? What you been, Mo? What you been? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball from the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for Beginner's phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girls. Got him. They, they, they came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch.
this unfinished business, and all I could think about was my unfinished scotch. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. <laughs> Still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing the job. I'd gone head first through a glass window. I deserved a little something for the pain. This wasn't the time to be second guessing myself. I had to hurry or I'd lose them. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea. But in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a impressive psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G-strings. A couple of more seconds and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. Oh, I said! Come on, come on! Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes! What the hell happened in there? They jumped us! Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, and Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oh yeah, look, there they are. Quick, get after them. Are you crazy? We can't just leave her. Max, you're gonna do something. Come on, get the rifle back there. She's making a run for it. Hey, hold on. Bring it around. Move. You're going to lose her. I don't know. Hold her. Get around this thing! How is this getting around this? I 
meu Deus! O Luke! Luke! There she is there! Keep them away from her! Clearly, somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has-been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second, and if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god-awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell? It was Giovanna's necklace. Now I just had to find the rest of her. Are you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Basil's crazy. Is he okay? I need to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. My God, it's Cole. Giovanna, no! what are you doing? 
Giovanna! Ah. <coughs> hey! No, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Paso's was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, Put and part of me you. wished I was too. choice do we have? We have never paid out ransoms before. But I don't know. I don't like the feeling of this. What about you, Max? I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert on hostage negotiations. I, I know people who are, but they're in America. We don't have time for America. I know you're right, Marcelo. It's not like I don't have the money to pay. Father made a lot of money. We have always been targets. We all know that. But much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them... But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters! Who can say? Life in this country is not easy, you can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. No idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business. Now, what have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just brother. want my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. What's he saying? Open the bag, show me it's full of money. Depressa, porra, depressa! Easy, pal, easy. Vem! Someone up in the nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well-armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. You okay? Yeah. All right, let's go. There's got to be a first aid kid around here somewhere. I'd been shot more times than I could remember, but this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message, trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I'd just severed an artery and was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Damn! At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Oh, move it, man, move it! I 
guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. Pull it together, Max. Let's go. Hold on. Wait here a second. Oh, not a problem. All the fun. <laughs> you see there, Grandpa? Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. You okay, bro? Never better. Whose idea was this, anyway? Yeah, I wonder. Uh, uh, Is it bad? Uh, could be a lot worse. Here. Thank you. Uh, right. Mm. Here we go. Put the sleeve on, come on. Uh, All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. So what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Comando Sombra their money. And make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. Pusher? Yeah. You're so good at it. Good job. Just another day at the office, huh? Should have known this wouldn't end well. Ah, didn't even begin well. It was hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on. Let's go. Where the hell's he going? Here. Does he have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta. O que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os franco atiradores? Vai se fuder. Não estou pra brincadeira, filho da puta. Ai! Isso! Ai! Que você tá se enganando? Trouxemos o dinheiro! Trouxemos o dinheiro! Não enganamos ninguém! 
you to say? What the fuck was that, man? I'm working here. Heads up, here come his friends. Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. Straight on here, I'll cover you. Wasting time, man! Son of a bitch! You okay? About the same as before. Looking forward to getting out of this shithole. Keep moving. It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. In there, in there. They seem nice enough. Were they cops? You tell me. I don't think so. I've had enough of these fools. Pega, pega, pega! last rights, don't you think? Look at this flat jack. This is high-end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. We'll, we'll deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. I might have written the book on dumb ideas, but Passos Fabiana, sure. the wrong people got paid. Yes, Hall!
Let's move while we got the chance. Luckily for us, the blood money was still bleeding. Come on! Quick! It was time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. It was getting annoying. How the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids are like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. Don't speak too soon, brother. Looks like it's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here, cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your headset on. Whatever you say.
right, I'm inside. It looks like an IP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Exactly what it sounds like! Sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. Where are you headed? I'm going up. I don't know. I guess it's nowhere nice. Sign of the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. I'm in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. Clear up here. What about the kid with the money? I don't even. Must be still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? <laughs> I'm getting ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. I can't run for it. All right. I'll try to clear you some space. Oh. I'm going back in, bro. Kidding me.
I got it. Max. Damn, bro. That wasn't fun. <sighs> Listen to me. You head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Bit late for a plan, pal. Ah, God damn it! Max! Shit! Now I got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. Place was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn stadium. Oh, Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries. I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right-wing guns for higher ex-cops military. I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? The guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. Jesus, they've shot him. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing soldier.
some way up there. Okay, I'm going up. Believe me, I ain't gonna drag this out. destroyed South Hollow's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. <laughs> Make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. Same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Hey, let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get out of here, here, old man! It's a nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say? Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Stabbing fucking it up. funny. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or... Yeah. How you got involved with killers? Oh. I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my us. family. You ain't got them right. Hey, you, don't take that from this punk toy. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived them. But I'm oh, a star! Anytime. Now say you're sorry. Get him. 
Fucking say you're sorry. Has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop card. Don't act clever. I will blow your brains all over this counter, every fucking where. Come on, Tony. Come on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Put the gun down now. Thank you, thank you. Now hey, get wait, the wait, fuck wait, out wait, of here before you get shot. I got you. Who the you. fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Go on. I'm fuck off. I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay we'll right here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You, you don't remember, remember me? me? I saw us. How pastors? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicides. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from, all over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah, it keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had huh? to admit, I kind of <laughs> like the guy. Hey, Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great me. set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Cheers. Well, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something. Well, I'm both. Soldier. Get in there. You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off. Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole, no dick asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan guido douche. You Girl sure had, had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town. see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. Must have forgotten about those. I ain't waiting. 
to see who else shows up. Come on. I thought about saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. It's easy for us, are they? Stay over here. Cover me. Yes, sir. He could have been setting me up for a fall. Something told me to stay put and trust him. in amongst the to help me out of a jam. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I live right around the corner. Let's go this way. Let's go, man. The bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. Nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> Can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Yeah, that looks about right. You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil shit. men! You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be Lands in fire! No, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for, a chance to make a difference. At least that's what looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. It 
It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have said... Will you please kill him? Gunfire over Hoboken. Felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. <laughs> Help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. I thought you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. second guess us when they're covering all the angles.
I was guessing the stairs wouldn't take us to the penthouse, but they were worth a shot. Don't show the blood so much. How's this look? these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? You think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens? Uh... You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiente River. Looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapret. Why'd you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Eh, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. Wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? She's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. 
This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiano was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Oi! Dani! Você tá aí? Você tem um cigarro? I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. I had to keep moving. I hoped that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all.
That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. circle of this low-rent hell. It seemed Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched.
and Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. on going across the docks. There they were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. Maybe a few years before that as well.
Max! Max! Is that right? What's going on? Where's they, Fabiano? They took her in a boat. That way. Straight ahead. Okay, okay, don't worry. Hang on. Boy, did I need to hang on. The whole operation was slipping out of our grip. I was an overconfident jump of going into the jungle alone. Shit, more company! Decoy ball! Shit! Grenade! Grenade! Down! That doesn't look so good. Fuck, oh, man! One of the edges is gone! Give me a second! Second is about all we got.
idea. Hold on. Fabiana had slipped through my fingers for a second time. Another habit I didn't want or need. It was close. We almost had her. Damn. I don't think we ever had much of a chance. No one told us they had an entire goddamn army. I don't think anybody knew. Crazy shit. Yeah. It's all crazy, pal. Non-stop insanity. Thought I left all this shit behind. Easy gig, you said. What a fool I was to get involved in this madness. Get 
Get up, bro. Max, wake up, Max. Come on, get up, you big bastard. Come on. I'm up. Yeah? You don't look up. Just give me a second, will you? Really not feeling too good. <clears throat> hey, Max, what is it with you in interior design? Huh? You, you really know how to give a place a great lived-in feel, huh? This is beautiful. Fuck off with the fucking wisecracks. Really, I'm not in the mood. Okay, sorry, bro. The boss wants to see us, so let's go, come on. Take your time, man. Fucking unbelievable. Jesus. I heard that. Oh, give me a second. I'm not feeling so good. Bom dia. Ela se está aí? O que que a senhora acha? Claro que sim. E o senhor bem pontual, não? Tudo bem. Não? Ah. You fucking pair of clowns. I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save. I, I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. It feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the emperor. Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, Sr. Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Becker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool. Just like the rest of my friends. Com licença, tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a mess. Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. All I got was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk. Now, both of <gasps> you. <gasps> <gasps> <gasps>
Max! Max! Yeah, it's safe. Come on. We need to get you to the server room. Let's go. Por que não posso ficar aqui com você debaixo da mesa? Let's go. Come on. Okay. I'm coming. Come on. The real security guards had been run off, paid off, or bumped off. That left us. It wasn't a fantastically comforting thought. Please, come on! This code should get us into the boardroom. Okay. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. Ah! Oh, shit! What the end? <clears throat> Are we dead? No such luck. We gotta go. It's through here. The servers are this way. Those cubicles. These clowns were the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Crotcha Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I cared to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper? Eu vou por aqui, você vai por ali. Demorou. Silêncio! O próximo que falar leva a bala! Vai ser o server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen the worst of it. Okay. The, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hey? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the mornings. <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing. Fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated a siege situation here, hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Got to get out of here.
Come over here! Come on, move. You're gonna be able to fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components back online. What about Bronco's office? That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If this works. Whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodrigo's. The security system is back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. It seemed like breaching the perimeter had been no more difficult than strolling through the front gates. But hey, who needs a Trojan horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dork, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out. Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I needed to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building, for what that was worth. They could replace these on Monday morning. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. like we had seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed it wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cake. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max! Open up! Can you hear me? Eu já tentei. 
Senor Bronco, open up! I'm gonna try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. Yes. I knew there was another way in upstairs for the helipad. The little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 Of course, he was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good... Ah. Picking the photo from the broken fragments, Something caught my eye. Figures. <laughs> Only blind luck, it meant the blast wasn't fatal. If I'd been out for any longer, the smoke would have gotten me. to death. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this. Unless the place was made of gasoline, this whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse looting coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. Fabricast Bronco was falling apart quite literally. <sighs> Despite his manners, I'd done him a favor. This didn't look like a room where Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hellhole. was to use that filing cabinet.
So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire act with a fiery pit for a safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey! Why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why? What? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? Came to kill you! Because of what you did to us! You killed so many of us! What reason did this poor bastard have to lie? He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in half an hour, even if I didn't leave him there to burn. Where's Fabiana? Fabiana Branca, where is she? The Commando Sombra got her. Up the hill. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Bronco was dead. Fabiana was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was gonna kill me too. I could see that now. I decided that I was gonna die sober, not drunk. Ah! <laughs> At least then I would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. And if I didn't flush them out, at least my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It was the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I'd been drinking and popping painkillers for years. I had a liver like a French goose and skin like red leather. Well, it wasn't perfect. In fact, it wasn't much good at all, but it was going to have to do. At least I was facing in the right direction. Tá ligando, hein? Alô? Alô, Victor. Max? Max, you're, you're, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I, but I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I. At least that's how I think it happened. Man, you killed him, Poha. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? 
Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. And right now I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow, like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. E aí, gringo? Que lost, kid. Eu me amarro nos States. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, uh -huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É <laughs> isso. I found myself a tour guide. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between. Hidden in the dark, what was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself? Grasping some desperate delusion of control. Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. What do you need, guys? What do you need? 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 What Look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão para eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Desculpa, amigo. Por favor. Passa tudo que você tem, viado. Pega o dinheiro dele. Pega o dinheiro dele. Ah, relojão, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo. Dá logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle-income ass-kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. If there was one thing I'd learned since I'd been here, it was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. 
And for kids like these, it was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. Que isso, é a coisa mais simples. Vai lá, mostra pra ele. Você escolhe um dos três para o Desculpa, olá. Fala inglês. Uh, I'm a little lost, perdido. Onde uh, uh, estou? Está no lugar errado, rapá. Ah, não compreende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não, Gri. Well, they weren't gonna help me. But who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was gonna find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me não, dead. Não, baseado. Ih, não tô a vez não, passa aí, meu. Aí, tem Mr. Mando Wilson, mano? Aí, ela não tá mais garotinha não, hein? De jeito nenhum. Pelo meio raio, o que esse cara quer? Aí, pela camisa, hein? Tu perdeu o cuzão, mano. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Branco. Fuck you. Small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hego. They work for this vigilante group. Crasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians. Like Victor Branco. See, many years ago, he helped clear some villages and even on some flag. local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing. We simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. We had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay. It's a little weird right now. But I know that Victor Branco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's going to happen? The moment is going to come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is going to come along and put a bullet in my head. Anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Branco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. So why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck! I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient hey, hey. bullshit. What are you doing here? No comprende. Leave me alone. Do you have something for me? Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong.
this country, I, I, th I think, and, and I know how to tip, all right? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Don't, don't judge me, all right? Have a nice day. Jesus, what a fucking creep. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. Desce ou não? Foda-se! Isso aí... Isso aí já era, não vale a pena não. É certo. Vamos lá. The fireworks display was clearly in my honor, making sure everyone knew to roll out the red carpet for their surprise guest. I was walking into another not-so-welcome party. These hoods didn't look like Commando Sombra. Not that I was gonna get picky. This was clearly their turf. And I just shot up their favorite skin joint. getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. I could hear a woman screaming. I thought I'd found Fabiana, but instead I'd stumbled across some testosterone fest. A bunch of young punks with guns killing time the only way they knew how. Nova Esperanza wasn't exactly a dinner and movie kind of place. I recognized the hoods who jumped me earlier. I was trying to decide whether to crash this party or turn back when my natural grace and finesse made the decision for me. Oh, 